everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 4975 and today we are checking out a brand new car in Forza Horizon 4 and it is this, the Mazda RX-3. Now it's a very strange little JDM vehicle. As I said, it is a Mazda. You can see on here, Mazda RX-3. The back of this thing looks very, very strange indeed, but um, it is a classic JDM vehicle. It's a small little compact car, so it really appeals to me. And you unlock this by completing 50% of the summer season. This is available till Thursday, so if you want to go and unlock this thing, make sure you do now. Because the prices of this thing on the auction house in a couple of weeks will probably be ridiculous. But here it is, the Mazda RX-3. It looks awesome, but I think we can improve on it. So let's take it to the custom shop and see what customization we have available. All right, here we are in the upgrade shop. Now we start off in D-Class 365. So you can make this thing however you want. You can have it as a slow little D-Class vehicle. And then I think you can probably get this thing all the way up to S1 class, I'm guessing. Now, the stock engine you can see there has 110 horsepower, 100 pound-feet of torque. The thing only weighs 2,000 pounds, which is absolutely awesome, and it has a 1.1 litre engine, and it is rear-wheel drive as well. So, this thing is not actually that bad stock, but um, we can go ahead and chuck in a 1.6 turbo rally, or we can put in the 4-rotor um racing engine which is the rotary engine now it will have a rotary engine as standard because it is a mazda um, so you can either put in the inline four or another rotary powered engine um, i'm going to keep the stock engine in this i want to see how that sounds and what performance we can actually get out of it we might come back and put something else in it later you can do an all-wheel drive swap if you want to not a fan uh, you can slap a turbo on this thing, which adds a little bit of horsepower, 19 horsepower, not bad. I think we'll go with that. Um, then we go on to visual and aero upgrades. So we've got the stock front bumper, and you can put this little Forza aero splitter thing on it. Looks a bit dumb, I think, but there we go. We've got a few different spoiler options, so we've got the removed spoiler look just a classic clean one we can go for the mazda aero which just adds that nice little uh, sort of boot lid lip which looks good and then we've got the horrible looking adjustable forza aero i like the little mazda lip so we'll go with that i think that looks pretty cool uh then wheel options now i don't really know what short sort of build i want to go with this thing i think we might go for like a rally car build um, I've done a few of these already, the rally car build, but honestly, rallying in this game is what I enjoy doing most, so we're going to put it as a rally car. We might come back in and make it a drift car or something later. So, slap on some rally tyres. We can get um, 205s in the front and 225s in the rear, so not massive tyres on this thing, actually, uh, but there we go. Um, wheel options, now there will be some advanced painting options, I'm guessing, for these tyres, but I'm not a huge fan of those, so let's try and find something a little bit better. Okay, so I found these, um, they look a bit weird at the moment, but uh, we're going to go and paint them in a minute, and hopefully that will improve it a little bit. So that's tyres done, then we've got drivetrain stuff, we've got the clutch. We'll slap in a race transmission and all this good stuff in here. Um, I'm just going for a balls out build at the moment. We might come back in and do like a proper A class or a C class build in a minute. I'm not really sure, but at the moment I just want to slap everything on here and see what we can actually do with this. So then we move on to rally springs and dampers. We'll go with that. We'll go ahead and put on 
some anti-roll bars not really going to go for a roll cage um i don't really see the benefits of roll cage there's someone screaming at me now in the comment section like oh it makes your car more stable blah 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 i think they look ugly and i don't want it in my car so that's that now if you go with all those upgrades uh, you do remove quite a lot of weight from this thing you've got a bit more horsepower and torque and that brings it nicely up to C-Class. But I want to keep going. I want to see how much horsepower we can get out of the stock engine. And as I said earlier, you can see right here, it does have a rotary engine in, which is very nice. We're already up to A-Class. Can we get it up to S1 with the stock engine? No, we can't. But we can get this thing all the way up to 300 horsepower, which is absolutely crazy in our little Mazda. So uh, let's take it to the paint shop now and uh, make this thing look a little bit better. Okay, so in the paint shop, we've got a number of different manufacturer colours for this thing. So it comes in this nice red colour when you unlock the vehicle, but you can get it in this copper brown colour. I guess it's kind of a 70s vehicle, so um, there was a lot of vehicles with this brown colour on them. You can go for a nice orange colour looks very nice actually I like that you can go for the dew yellow color we've got lime green a dark sort of I don't know what you call this like ocean blue this is a very 70s color a lot of cars in the 70s had this kind of color on them it does look very nice in this color actually I like that then we've got a darker blue We've got um, Aquamarine, I think that is. It's very, very light blue. Then we've got Silver and White. Actually, it looks very nice in white. Um, I also have a nice green colour ready to go here. So I'm going to go with this nice lime green colour. I think that looks quite nice. You can go for bonnet options. Don't want to do that. You can't change the wing mirrors, obviously. Now, the spoiler, I'm going to go for a semi-gloss matte black i think that looks quite nice and then wheel options i'm just going to go ahead and paint this all black in here and now you can see my vision for this vehicle it looks much much better now i think i like it it has a little bit of flair you know it's got some of these like louver things up the back it's got a little black spoiler some nice wheels and then it's got all the chrome 70s-esque look around the vehicle so I'm gonna go and do a little bit of tuning and then we're gonna head to a race and see what we can do with our little Mazda here okay so here we are at the Tan House scramble circuit this is one of my favorite rally courses it's nearly entirely dirt which is really cool and we've got our little Mazda RX-3 here. Let's see what we can actually do with this thing. We've got an old Skyline in here. We've got a lot of old Japanese vehicles. We've got like a Fair Lady Z right here. Let's see how it compares to those other classic JDM vehicles and see if we can get a podium. Okay, on to the tarmac. Now, I'm noticing that... Um, the suspension might be a little bit soft. I went in and did some tuning. Um, I did briefly test out the tuning and it wasn't too bad. But now that we've actually brought this thing off road, the suspension is very wobbly. It's very bellowy. It kind of moves around a bit too much. So I might have overdone it a little bit with the springs and dampers, but it's quite a smooth ride. It seems to uh, let go of the back end quite easily, as you can see there. Um, but apart from that, I'm really enjoying this little vehicle. It's a very fun vehicle to drive. I think it would make a great little drift car. So in a minute, we might do a tune and see if we can take this thing to a drift zone. But at the time being, we are in third position. We've got one lap to go. I'm going to see if we might be able to reach a first position. Okay, we have made it up to first position. I'm just hoping we can hold off now. We've got a little Lotus behind us. And I'm noticing with that turbo as well, this thing has a lot of torque. I did a bit of tuning with the gears and um, I tuned it more for acceleration because although it's quite light, it doesn't have a lot of horsepower. 
but it has quite a lot of torque for what it is so it doesn't really struggle with getting off the line or picking up speed when you come out of corners so that's very good if you slap the turbo on there it gives you a lot more torque so definitely consider that if you've got this vehicle but we're going to round the final corner here the Lotus sadly could not keep up with us and we're going to cross the podium in a first place or the finish line I should say what a splendid little car but I'm sure you're all curious to see how good this thing is at a drift zone so I'm going to go and do a drift tune on this thing and take it to a drift zone okay we've made it to a drift zone let's have a little go with our Mazda see how we do now what I was saying earlier about this thing having a lot of torque with the turbo is a good thing for drifting although I've completely messed that up that was not really a fault of the cars that was more me just not being able to drift very well I'm gonna be honest drifting is not something I do very often in Forza so forgive me if my drifting is a bit shocking I'm trying my best but the car is making it quite easy for me we got 46,000 points there let's go again and see if I can beat that score because 46,000 is not the best score on this drift zone I've definitely got higher before so let's see what we can do now I've got a bit of a feel for the car we might be able to do a little bit more okay we've already beaten our previous score there we go let's keep going and see what we can actually do are we going to get three stars I think we are 78,000 and three stars there we go so the little Mazda RX-3 there it is now available in Forza Horizon 4 if you want to go and get it for yourself all you've got to do is complete the 50% uh, of the summer season and you will get it as a reward and as you've seen it's very good off-road it's very good on-road doing drifting I'm sure you could make this thing a tarmac monster if you put in the quad rotor racing engine but that's going to do it for this video let me know in the comment section down below whether you're going to be getting the RX3 if you've already got it let me know what you think of the vehicle and with that all said and done I will see you in the next video.